Richard Southern joins us now to chat about some of the day's interesting and, of course, unusual stories. We start with some intriguing new food flavors, Richard. Craft Dinner is coming out with new flavors. First off, do you like the original Craft Dinner? Who doesn't? Erica. Who doesn't? Who, yeah. And uh, you, some people you're not a like Canadian. Modified? You're not a Canadian right. if you don't like it, right? Yeah. Wait, are you ketchup, ketchup, yay yeah, yeah, or nay in, in Craft Dinner? No, I've never actually tried that. It doesn't sound like something I would want to try, but maybe an experiment one day. We'll see. Wondering if you like this. They are out Craft Dinner, Erica, with new flavors now. I want to show them to you. You say yay or nay, whether you're on board with this or not. Uh, buffalo wing flavor. Yay, I would try it. Yeah. Yeah, me too. That seems yeah. to work. Um, butter chicken. Butter chicken, sure. <laughs> I would try that too. A lot of people <laughs> might sure say that's sacrilege, but sure. Yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> this next one, I don't know. Oof. Cotton candy. No, that sounds like a terrible time. No, I'm not. Talk about Canadiana poutine flavors coming out. You up. have to have a poutine mac and cheese, sure. Try that out. Seems to, seems to work. Yeah. Uh, do you like spicy jalapeno is another flavor. Mm, not so them. sure about that one. I'm kind of midway. Neither a yay or nay on that. Well, if you don't like that, oh, you might not like the ghost pepper very much. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to sit in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm with you. I'm a purist. I don't really use the ketchup. I'm, I'm nay on the hot dog right. uh, in the craft dinner, but I might give these a try and see what they're like. Have you ever there. tried the double cheese thing? You put two packets of cheese in there. Make it extra cheese. You're blowing my mind here. <laughs> what is this? You try it out. It'll blow, it will blow your mind. Okay. Wow. Um, okay. <laughs> it's one small step for man, one giant leap for the laundry industry. Tide is teaming up with NASA to help keep astronauts smelling fresh. Yeah, this is serious. Tide has signed a deal with NASA to develop a detergent that astronauts up there in the ISS or wherever they're going can use to clean their clothes. Uh, Tide says they're going to start testing out some, you know, detergents on the International Space Station to see how they work. And they're also looking into developing a combination washer dryer that NASA astronauts can use when they go to the moon in the next few years and when they eventually go to Mars. Eric, I didn't know this. Currently, astronauts don't do laundry. They wear their clothes until they get so dirty and so stinky that they have to throw them away, which is kind of what I do when I'm working from home here. So I'm yeah. thinking I could maybe be an astronaut. Imagine how uncomfortable that must be, though. And, and you know, they do have to work out in space because they, um, uh, the weightlessness, it, it might uh, affect their muscles. So they have to work out like two hours every day. So imagine what their clothes smell like after that. Apparently, right? they, apparently they all stay. I've heard that before. They all stink up there because you can't Ooh. have a full shower either. So they're all very stinky up there. Yeah. Okay. it will be interesting to see what comes <laughs> out of that. And uh, finally, speaking of outer space, there's some new research that raises the question about whether we're being watched from afar. Who could be watching us? Scientists looked at this to see what habitable planets could be within, you know, a spitting distance uh, of, of Earth. And they found uh, 29 planets that could observe Earth. They found 46 star systems are close enough uh, that they could intercept some signals from human existence. And in those uh, systems, there are 29 potentially habitable planets that are positioned to witness Earth's transit, but also eavesdrop on our radio and television broadcasts, wow. allowing them to know we have some sort of scant intelligence. They could be watching they us right now. They could be watching Erica. us or listening to us right now. And They're like, so. what's craft dinner? What is this? What are they talking about? <laughs> Try it out. It's a great thing. Yeah. By the way, this is all coming ahead of the UFO report from the U.S. government, which we found out is coming out tomorrow. So you tune into the segment tomorrow. We'll be talking about that UFO report, Eric. Can't wait. All right. Thanks, Richard. Have a great night. We'll talk again. Actually, you'll speak to Melissa tomorrow. Look forward to it. We'll see you Monday. <laughs>